Have you ever heard of Bureau Number Two? They were readers of sealed books, the eyes and ears of the Chinese Red Army during the Long March. This small yard in Beijing was its birthplace some 90 years ago. In August of 1932, the Red Army found a telegram inside the briefcase of a KMT officer that contained 30 plus already deciphered words. Not many, but enough to help Bureau Number Two to deduct and detect KMT's whole cryptogram system. Using intelligence acquired in combat as well as through secret agents, the Red Army was able to make better informed military decisions, especially in guerrilla warfare during the Long March. The bureau remained operational round the clock by splitting manpower and equipment into two shifts to take turns in working and marching. Just how challenging was their job? Consider the fact that the KMT later equipped each of their transceiver with ten books of codes and switched among them once every day. Every ten days, another ten books of codes were issued. But that wasn't enough to blind the CPC agents. This is a picture of all the Bureau Number Two staff members who made it to Yan'an, the end of the Long March. They averaged less than 30 years old. Years later, when commenting on the works of the bureau, Mao Zedong said it was to the Long March what a lamb meant to a night traveler.